is the kit that comes with it. The first thing I do is make sure everything is available in the kit, include the dress material, two pockets, the binding or the straps, the rick rack that goes on the pocket, a tag that goes on the back of the dress, elastic which goes on the top of the dress in the front and back, instructions, and the heart that goes in the packet and whoever sews it writes their name on the back. So that's the packet. First thing I do after I make sure everything's there, I take the dress material and because it's been folded a lot of times it'll have wrinkles in it. Open it up What I want to do is line up the two selvage edges and kind of check it on the sides, make sure they're even. Here, I'm just creasing there, and that's the center of the dress. And we'll show where that comes uh, later on. And you'll notice the sides on this one are very close together. And that's kind of what you want. These pockets already should have a line on it. And that's where the rick rack is going to be sewed. And the line is an inch and a half down. And again, you look at the pockets, make sure it's not way off kilter. This is pretty square, so you don't have to trim that up at all. So you just line your rickrack up over the line. And try and keep it in the center after you've done it for a while. You go a little faster. Second one in, leave your needle down. First of all, I always press the stitches a little bit, and that seats the stitches. Take the pocket. This is the right side. The pretty side of fabric or where the printed is is the right side. The underneath is the wrong side. So you put the right side down and then at the bottom just put about a quarter of an inch. Hold it over. Just press it down. The same thing to the other side. Press it down. And then we're going to fold it with the right sides together. You just line, line it up. So there you have your pockets. About a quarter of an inch in. We'll just have to go ahead and sew down. So again, you just sew down each side. You don't need to sew across the bottom and the top is already closed. 
we take our scissors and on the top part we trim off the corners and when we turn it inside out that'll make a better corner make it more square And if there's any threads hanging out the bottom. Now what we want to do is take our pocket and turn it inside out. And then using some kind of round object, I use my seam ripper because it has to be handy. You just kind of push your corner out, and then on the side seams, just kind of finger press it. Do the same thing with the other pocket. dress material and remember when we ironed it we had a nice crease down the center so we go ahead and open it up and then we're going to fold it sideways again lining up the edges Okay, and so we want our pockets halfway down. So here's our crease down the center. This is halfway down. Just measure three inches in. You can use a regular ruler, or tape measure, whatever. You put one pocket there, and then you put one pocket on this side. Okay, and this ruler is actually six and a half inches, so that half inch is the orange part. That's why it's. Go ahead and pin it. Like I say, it's three inches from the center seam. Various ways to start these pockets. Uh, again, uh, this is primarily for for beginners. So, but whatever you're comfortable with. If you have experience, that's fine. And you want to get it close to the edge, but you don't have to be all that close. And particularly if you're just starting, come in a little bit so you don't run off and then have to take the stitch out. First is back stitch up in the corner of the pocket and then just Back stitch a couple times. Press the stitches. And press out the pocket. The center crease that we put in there. Kind of straighten that out. <laughs> so now we're going to put the back seam on. So what we do is fold our material right sides together. Okay, now depending on your capabilities. I always like to pin it.
can see I have my pins out far enough where I can sew by it. If you have your pins here, make sure you don't sew over your pins, take them out. Okay, now we're going to press our seam to one side or the other. And it really doesn't matter. Turning it up about a quarter of an inch. And we just go all the way around. Okay, after you get this turned under, then what you want to do is put a one inch hem in it. And you can use a regular ruler, you can use a sewing ruler like one of these. Okay, that's our bottom. We're going to do the same thing on the top, the same thing for the top. The, uh, one thing on the top for the uh, medium and large dresses, you have the three quarter inch elastic uh, and the extra large. The small dresses, it's a half inch, a lot thinner. So when you have the one inch, or the three quarters of an inch, you'll then do a one inch overlap. With the smaller ones, you do a three quarter inch overlap. And again, you want to start off doing a quarter of an inch. You've already found that. On the bottom, do our quarter of an inch and then because we have the wider elastic we're going to do a one inch casing up here and after we sew it this is where our elastic is going to fit in. Okay, now we want to sew the bottom hem. Normally I like to start in the back. Okay, and also you may have noticed that uh, I have again changed the color of the, the thread. Uh, we, we want to use colors that, that complement the materials we're using. Uh, we used white on the pocket, now we're using a greenish color. Okay, so we've got it inside out. And we start off, backstitch some. Now on the bottom, we want to 
so around it twice, about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch apart. Uh, you can also do it this way, or I like to turn it inside out. Use what I just sewed as a guide. One other thing I want to mention, you notice the seam is this way. When you do the top, you want to make sure the seam runs the same way. Okay, again, you start off, back stitch a couple times, and then go ahead and sew. And back stitch. The double stitch in. Now we have our one inch on the top for the casing, and we just sew it the same way that we sewed the bottom, except we only have to do it once. Get to the end, back stitch. Okay, so now we have our seam in the back and a hem in the bottom and a casing at the top. Uh, basically, we serve, sew the tube. Okay, and we want to cut the armholes. Okay, so when you get even on both sides, and you want to turn it this way, and in your instructions, the bottom of the second page is a template for cutting out the armholes. And use a cutter. Uh, if you want to just use a pen and draw around it and then cut out with your scissors, fine. If you have a cutter, it's just a lot easier. So there is the armholes. So you take a safety pin, just put it through it. Okay, I'm starting on the front, slide it in there. So that's where we want to get it. If we happen to pull it too far, you can go a pair of tweezers and pull it out. We're going to go down, pass the elastic, come back with a straight stitch. What, what I like to do, it should be seven to nine inches down, six to nine inches down. I like to put it on here, line it up with your seam. Pin it, and then I hold up, hold it up, you can see, to make sure it's a little straight. And 
what you need to look at on the back is which way your seam is, is laying. So it's laying this way, so you want to feed it through this way. We now have a, a tube with a hem on the bottom and elastic on the top. And we've cut out the armholes. And now we're going to put the binding on the armholes. And we're going to do it two different ways. Okay, and then after you have the folds out, take the end and come down about a half an inch and just fold it in. And go ahead and press it. And that's so after it's on the dress, it doesn't start unraveling. Then you want to find the center of each of these. Okay, and you go ahead and mark it. Okay, now that we have that, we want to do the same thing with our armholes. We open up our bias tape and the long, the wide side goes inside. So we open it up, find the center that we marked, open it up to a quarter, the quarter, and then we match that up with the center of the armhole. And then we pin it. We go down a little ways and pin it again. And then we keep doing that till we get to the end. So there we have it. Flip it over and we start at the end. And we want to sew that in where we folded it over and pressed it and then turn. And then we want to sew all the way down. Okay, you get to the elastic, you want to go across and then back stitch. Again, we're strengthening that area. After you do that, you go ahead and down. Get to this side of the elastic, go to the end, back stitch some. The second method, first of all, again, we find the center of the armpit or the armhole and we mark it on the outside. We get our bias tape, you open it up some, you line up the center of the bias tape with the center of the material and you just fold it over and pin it. Come down the way. Make sure your material is all the way up to the top. Fold it over and pin it. We're going to start at the end this time. And you sew down a little bit. I'm turning the material. OK, 
Okay, so that's two different ways of doing the binding the bias tape. And now instead of a tube, we have a dress. One other thing is in each kit is a heart. And you want to put your first name on the back. I always put a little message I put made, made just for you and put my first name. Here's the finished product. This concludes our video for today. Thank you for watching it and we hope that you found the tutorial very helpful. Oh, by the way, for those of you that have asked, are you going to do something for boys? Yes, we are. This year, we are adding a boys shorts pattern. So we're really excited that we have uh, a new leader that has stepped up to head up the boys division. We'll be making three sizes of shorts to go in the Operation Christmas Child shoebox. Sizes two to four will be small, medium five to nine, and large for 10 to 14 year olds. These are the ages for the children that receive the Operation Christmas Child shoeboxes. We'll be sending out more information on that real soon. Thank you. This is real love. This is real love.